it's a good time. You would lie. I think Edward Live should be our catchphrase. Because we're, we're never, never live. live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally because of that. Okay, what's up guys? Day 17, another 75 miles done today. Mm-hmm. And we are, we're rolling, we're cruising. We're at 1,710 miles ish. <laughs> Could have made that up, probably. <laughs> it's all, all on the Instagram though, that's probably more accurate. But we're, um, we arrived in um, <laughs> Sioux Falls today, and um, which is a gorgeous town, loads of fast food restaurants, which we love. And uh, we're staying with. John Shelso tonight and um, his and Met's girlfriend as well, Risa, uh, which is really cool. And he's a lovely host and he's got us down in this awesome, awesome basement. It's so cool. Like, um, huge TV in a bar and it's like got a proper setup. You could, like, the best place for a house party, um, <laughs> if only. And yeah, anyway, so we started uh, <laughs> picking up where we left off, which was. Last night in Mitchell, having had the um, lovely hot tub experience <laughs> with our host, um, oh, who's Dave. Dave, um, <laughs> such a struggle tonight. Um, and yeah, well, we crashed out. And as we said, if John didn't reply, then we would sleep in and just head off. And um, John did reply the following morning, and but he had work up until five. So we decided to have a leisurely morning. Um, we lay in, or I lay in as long as I could, which was until 8, at which point I woke up and just did nothing really. Um, caught up messaging some people and um, then he woke up about 9 mm-hmm. and we had a um, chill breakfast, just had some um, toast and a um, bit of a nothing morning, set off at around, t- yeah, a bit of allegedly set off around just gone 10.30, so about 10.35 or so. Mm-hmm and um, out the door and for a pretty straightforward day we knew it was going to be um, a little hotter but we didn't have any didn't have any rush because it would be about a five hour day um, site to cycle 75 miles and um, yeah so we knew it would be pretty straightforward and we'd get here in plenty of time for five um, and so because of that late breakfast we then have lunch when we arrived here um, and yes yeah, so we hopped on I had a bit of trouble getting out of Mitchell, which is also the home of apparently the world's only corn palace, which we didn't actually see, um, despite how thrilling it sounded, as um, Dave and his lovely friend, I can't remember if it was Liz or Barb telling us, um, that there was this corn palace which they had, and apparently it was a gigantic building which was like paint by numbers, but it was paint by corn, and like these children apparently helped do it, and they nail gunned different colour corn to the walls and then it made a picture of like a farmer or something um, <laughs> which sounds amazing um, but we <laughs> didn't visit that and we hit the road straight away um, and on our way to Sioux Falls and we um, went along for a little while and then we uh, crossed under the I-90 and hit the 263 highway um, which was again slabs of concrete and we thought it would be a straightforward day um, but it was just crosswinds the whole way and headwinds. and headwinds which was really really unpleasant and so because we were going south southeast for the start the crosswind kind of wasn't too much of an issue it's pretty just died just lusted every now and again and pushed us off to the side a bit but it was um, wasn't too awful but then anyway um, oh a couple of things as well uh, that I meant to say about yesterday before I forget was um, one the it's springtime which is pretty cool so we're seeing a load of like little um calves and lambs and stuff starting to grow up um which is really sweet and with their parents and um <laughs> two um we said about the buzz that the halfway point gave us yesterday but after lunch having filled up a mcdonald's and had a little celebration um <laughs> there was a little bit of a like a, a down well for, for me anyway where i was just like the legs suddenly felt really heavy again and it was like, oh, we've got to do that all over again, um, which was really hard psychologically. And yeah, just to give you a bit of insight into how we're feeling with that. Um, but today as well, we, we thought that the, the, despite how hard it is to do 150 miles in a day, which it is, we, we kind of did those days 
facts back and the effect hadn't really built up yet but today we definitely thought that it was harder having done those two days before and so the 75 mile day despite being shorter in hours was still it was still pretty tough, tough to complete yeah, yeah. Um, and we also saw oh yeah the, the floods are still like really really rampant there was one section where a horse was just stranded on this one piece of grass um, kind of fenced in and all the rest of it was like marshland and completely flooded around it a few tufts of grass there was literally as well going over like James River or something I can't remember the exact name there was a road that went off which was obviously a little side road to the river which just disappeared into the water which was pretty cool um, and there was also oh yeah and we also saw a devastating site today um, really traumatising not quite as traumatising as the Bambi incident as our avid followers will remember um, but we did see another um, dead road kill today, mm. which was <laughs> uh, I was to get uh, tortoises. Yeah. Tortoises. <laughs> dead road. I think what happens is the birds pick them up after the river mm. and drop them on the road and hope the car smash them up. It's pretty clever with the birds. Yeah, the crows do it with. <laughs> what do they do it with? Snails. Is it snails? Yeah. I don't know. I made it up. And so yeah, no, in my head that's what happens to them anyway. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, it was pretty sad. <laughs> I went along. I was like, "What?" I saw the show. I was like, "What on earth is that? Is it a crab?" <laughs> and it was orange, like obviously that's why not. It was yeah. orange. It looked like a crab. Yeah, it did a bit too bad. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, Jim is obviously um, points out it was probably more likely a tortoise. <laughs> um, and yeah, anyway, we carried on our way. Hit Bridgewater for lunch, um, but nothing was open there, so it was lucky we had all of our water bottles fully filled up because by the end of the day they were almost drained um, or yeah pretty my was, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. Um, and so we stopped there for a pop tart and uh, <laughs> get those calories back on board which um, are great calories to be consuming and we carried on and this was the point where the southeast became east and that crosswind we had before became more of a cross slash headwind and so we were continuously getting buffeted by this crosswind and those concrete slabs that we talked about before didn't stop so it was all like rivets and we had no we have no suspension because they're racing bikes so it was all like being absorbed through our shoulders and really shuddering as we went along um and not to mention the lorries coming the other way which <laughs> i once like kind of stood like sat up a little bit to kind of have a snack and a lorry came by and completely like almost pushed me back the other way um because they're huge huge um yeah uh, vehicles that you get on these highways that are too big to go on the I-90, they're oversized, so they use these um, side routes because apparently they're safer. Um, <laughs> they're a bit, bit horrific for us cycling on there. Um, and it's literally, it's like cycling through like treacle or something, it's really frustrating because you think it should be flat and straightforward and then obviously it doesn't go to plan. Um, so on top of the build-up we've had from the day before, it's really tough going, cycling these rock, like bummy bummy roads and um, <laughs> not the tailwind we were promised um, <laughs> anyway we did to be honest today was really boring yeah it there's was not much to report absolutely even James didn't spot any wildlife mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing interesting and um, we yeah that was about it it was just planes after planes after planes um, that's South Dakota for you really but tomorrow exciting news because we're crossing over the border into Iowa we'll hopefully see Nebraska as well the frustrating thing is as well we're 30 miles from Minnesota which is a really awkward distance because I like love to do as many states as possible, but it's just not. Uh, we'd love to do as many of the states as possible, but it's <laughs> not. Um, we can do Nebraska. That'd yeah, be, that'd be good we can do Nebraska because Iowa City, I mean Sioux City, which we're going to tomorrow, as opposed to Sioux Falls, where we're at tonight, is on is like on a triple border of Nebraska, South Dakota, and Iowa, um, which is pretty cool. And everyone hops onto um, South Dakota to avoid the income tax of um, the state income tax of Iowa. Um, so the clever people have the houses over there, um, which is why Sioux Falls has a bigger population than Sioux City because everyone wants to stay over here in South Dakota, uh, where there's no income tax. And um, yeah, so we rocked up, went to McDonald's, I had nine burgers, <laughs> had five hamburgers, four chicken burgers, and <laughs> and uh, um, and a soft drink, um, <laughs> which was ridiculous. I feel awful, and I <laughs> and I think I'm going to give McDonald's a break for a little bit. Try and stick to some told off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we had chicken salad supper. Yeah, yeah. So we you you had, you had a few burgers as well. You had three. three hamburgers yeah. and nuggets. 
Have you watched Loose Birds? Oh, it's so good. It's getting amazing. Like, it's such easy TV and really mm. entertaining because, lo- like, the whole time, this chap, Lucifer, is just, like, commentating on it like he's an eight-year-old watching the show, which is just really funny, like, to watch. It kind of breaks that whole fall, fall down in a way that, um, <laughs> yeah, in a way that is a lot of fun to watch. This YouTube channel is just, like, <laughs> yeah. food reviews, television reviews. Literally, McDonald's sponsor us, and Netflix as well. We're promoting all your shows for you. Um, <laughs> and Audible as well, because I mm. finished No Hero by Mark Owen today, which was inc- which was really really um, a good listen. Um, bit of a waste of a credit though, not a waste of a credit, but you can get because y- Audible works as a subscription and you use a credit each month, and that was only six hours long, and um, you can play it a bit more tactically by using one credit to get like Sherlock Holmes, which is seventy something hours, or Game of Thrones, which you've listened to, which is thirty mm. something. Um, so play your cards right with Audible. Um, but that was a really good listen. Actually, well worth it because I really enjoyed it. But I'm on to Angels and Demons tomorrow by Dan Brown. Um, and yeah, anyway, so we cycled from McDonald's mm. to um, to John's house, and um, he was lovely. He made sure we waited until well gone five, so he had time to get back from his. He's a pe- pediatrician, is the right word, right? Yeah. So he's a pediatrician, works with um, kids, and that's really awesome. And he's a really cool guy. So he came in, he has two lovely poodles, Zoe and Ella, um, and they're, they're gorgeous, they've got their summer trim, so they've got really puffy like tails and heads um, that kind of shave down everywhere else. Um, and yeah, so we kind of had a shower, um, and we're set up in this awesome basement, and then we went out, and he took us in a ride, mm. which James loved, mm. because... <laughs> uh, because it was in the Mustang, and I love uh, Mustangs. Yeah, it was Super. yeah convertible fortieth mm. anniversary edition. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 we'll definitely get an Instagram photo of that um, yeah. up later for you all to see. And so it's, yeah, awesome. He took us on a ride down to the pickle something, patch. pickle patch. Mm. Yeah, and um, he yeah we <laughs> there we got the chicken salad, mm. which was way healthier, loaded up on the tomatoes and mushrooms and lettuce and the. Everything's good, and a load of a load of dressing, which couldn't have been that good for us. Um, but there we sat and watched another episode of Lucifer, because it's just after a day's riding, like it's just all we want to do is just come crash out and do nothing. Um, so that's what we did, and we walked back there, are, uh, and we should say as well, it stayed really, really hot like the whole day. We arrived at five, or no, so we arrived at McDonald's about four. F- we arrived at Walmart at about. 3.40? Yeah. Yeah, so about five hours after. And we arrived at his house at 5.40, so we kind of took our time shopping at Walmart, eating at McDonald's, etc. But at that time, at nearly six, it was still absolutely really muggy, really warm, like 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is 20-something degrees Celsius. And, um, yeah, and so, but that made it for a lovely evening, though, because we strolled back in literally, like, T-shirt and shorts and um, loads of insects in the air, though, but also bunnies hopping around the gardens, which was um, really cute to see. Um, James managed to dig up a photo of his brother. <laughs> his happy birthday, birthday Ben. Yeah. If you, I doubt you're watching this, but happy <laughs> birthday. Um, yeah, which was, uh, got, that, got that baby photo going on, which is always good. <laughs> and that was a really weird comment. <laughs> I'd take that back. And um, yeah, then we came back, had a lovely chat with John and Rita, who um, came by from her. Um, horse therapy work which is really cool so having kids with horses for physical and um, emotional therapy um, and yeah and now we're here we're going to go to bed early start tomorrow 87 mile day apparently so Google Maps says um, a 6.50 oh and today as well the, the gradient was meant to be nothing it was meant to be what like 800 up 700 down over the course of the whole day which we've done in the course of about 10 miles before um, but it was so up and down, and r- with the headwind as well, it didn't feel like it was completely flat, like Google Maps said. Um, and it says it's about the same tomorrow, 650 up, 1,000 down, but we know it's probably not going to be the case. And we'll hit the Missouri River as well, <laughs> not the Mississippi, um, which should be gorgeous. And yeah, we'll update you all about that and how James copes with the early start tomorrow. Mm. And it's D-Day tomorrow, right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, big day. Hopefully we'll get there in time to um, attend a little memorial service. Yeah, see you tomorrow. This is probably a really short vlog. But... <laughs>